I'm Cabot Finch, public relations and crisis management, and I'm here to help you. You'll start by building a Hammond Creation Lab. We've already started on an enclosure for you. You should just attach it to the side. But watch out for dinosaurs. Ah, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Let's focus on what you're here to do, which is create dinosaur facilities on the islands we call the Five Deaths. Actually, Las Cinco Muertes, <laughs> because Spanish is the lingo of choice around here. You'll need to connect it to the pre-existing network of paths and the power grid. Now comes the real test incubating a dinosaur. You'll start with a Struthiomimus. Select the creation lab and pick a hatchery bay. There's enough genome data for your first viable dinosaur. The machinations of the ambitious, undoing extinction, playing with nature's laws. What can possibly go wrong? Come on, doctor. You know we've learned so much and invested even more in our Jurassic operations since the last time. Yes, Mr. Finch, yes, the, the last time. There's always a last time, and a next. Life, it begins, the most precious moment the result of incalculable actions and reactions, trials and errors, genetic mutations and unknowable combinations, chaos, all leading to a living, breathing, thinking being, an entity, distinct and unique. And now we, you, just manufacture them. So, well done, I guess. The Hammond Foundation has three main areas of interest. Security, entertainment, and science. I've already nudged the heads of each division to reach out to you personally. They'll offer opportunities and incentives for you to be part of their team. Choose one of their contracts. It'll help you develop your facility. This is Lambert, head of security. Yours, theirs, and mine. Welcome to the islands. So here's our basic conundrum. We want to keep our animals under control while simultaneously encouraging instinctive behaviors because these animals have potential as combatants. Look, everyone's fear object, myself included, is to have these animals running free and loose in the park. But we can't exploit them globally without taking some chances. Contracts can be requested from the division heads inside the control room. Complete these to increase your reputation and gain additional revenue to keep expanding your park. So, one more thing. Your reputation. Your rep, quote-unquote. Keep an eye on it, okay? If you have a solid reputation with a division, you're more likely to benefit from them. Financially, I mean. But, like life, it's a balancing act. Each division is vying for your attention, and if they don't get it, they tend to take it personally. Well done. And you'll notice absolutely no hint of sarcasm. 
Unless you listen real closely. <laughs> so, what I meant to say is that completing that contract has raised your standing. Your reputation, if you will, with the security division. This means they'll be willing to give you more difficult missions. Good! Your first expedition team is out. They'll bring back what they find to the fossil center for extraction. Your job is simple, really. Create dinosaurs, which attract visitors to your facilities, brings in capital, money, huh? Which means you can do more research to build better facilities and create more dinosaurs, and there you go. A circle of life, development and resources, nature and commerce. See? Simple. Lambert here. I've got a new assignment that I think is perfect for your skill set. Give it a once over, then let me know if you're interested. Glad to have you on board. As you can imagine, the animals in the various facilities are constantly probing for weaknesses in our security systems. They're smarter and more devious than people give them credit for but I refuse to underestimate their capabilities. That's why I'm always testing and evaluating our security protocols and barriers. And this is where you come in. I've got to give this guy Lambert his due. He actually sees these animals as both opportunity and threat. I'm gonna need you to...